10 kilovolts earthing wire installation and removal. Course objectives master the 10 kilovolts grounding wire installation operation process. Master the precautions for the use of detectors. Task description Installation of 10 kilovolts overhead transmission line. One set of grounding wire. Key points Pole mounting skills. Operation steps of the grounding wire installation work. Point. Danger points and control measures. Pre-work preparation. Dress correctly. Look like a power employee. Wear long-sleeved work clothes. Cuffs should not be pulled up. Check the helmet. Be worn correctly and within the validity period. Jaw straps should be tightly fitted to the jaw. Wear insulated shoes. Wear gas gloves. Select the following work equipment in the work equipment room. 10 kV tester, 10 kV ground wire, 10 kV insulated gloves, hammer, foot buckle, full body safety belt, lanyard tape measure, wrench tool kit, workflow, handling of work ticket. According to the safe regulations of the state grade corporation, Power distribution handle the first kind of work ticket. Work preparation. According to the National Grid Electricity Safety Regulations, part of power distribution handle the first kind of work ticket for power distribution line. In addition to filling in the work task, must also carefully fill in the safety measures. The safety measures for this operation are as follows. Preventing mistaken entry. Verify the name of the poll number. Prevent electric shock. Maintain adequate safety distance from energized bodies. When removing old 10 kV cross arms, maintain a safe distance of 0.7 meter or more from conductors. Use the testing period of the testing period of the electric detectors. Insulated gloves and operating rods prevent pole collapse. Check the root of the pole for loose soil before boarding. Whether the pole body has tilting cracks, whether the burial depth is qualified. Tension wire integrity and corrosion. Prevention of falling from height. Use the safety belt to protect the whole process of climbing the pole with foot buckles. Arrive at the working position. Buckle the safety belt to the form construction place. Prohibit people from standing directly under the working point. Prevent falling objects from hurting people during the work. Start checking the work equipment. Check that the foot buckles are within the test circle. Flexibility of retraction and expansion. No breakage of straps. Rubber pads are intact and not hardened. Check that the safety belt is within the test cycle. Connectors are secure. Metal buckles are not corroded and open and closed properly. No breakage or cracking of the belt body. Check that detectors are within the test cycle. Expansion and contraction are normal. In order to in the electric equipment or the corresponding voltage level of the frequency gen generator. Perform power test. Confirmation of sound and light. Check whether the grounding wire is within the test cycle. Hook clamps are normal. No damage or cracks on the outer jacket of the grounding connector. Use a wrench to tighten the hook. Bolts and grounding pins at connection to copper wire. Connecting bolts to the copper wire. Check that the insulating gloves are within the test period. Check that the insulating gloves have not deteriorated or cracked in appearance. Perform an air tightness test. Observe the inflated state. 
whether there is an there is air leakage phenomenon. Confirm that there is no air leakage before use. Check the integrity of the rope without breakage. Check that the hammer head is intact. Check that the hammer head is intact and, and firmly connected to the hammer handle. Check that the tape measure extends and retracts properly. Check that the tool kit is not damaged. Put insulated gloves and electric detectors in the bag. The next step is to climb the pole. We also need to carry out the check. Four checks, four shocks. One check, line name, pole number. Four checks. Check the pole, roots, foundations. Use a tape measure to check the depth of the pole. Pull the line for impact. Use the whole body strength. Separate impacts on the main safety harness protection rope. Impact on the backup protection rope of the safety belt. When the foot buckle impact should be placed on the ground. Twenty centimeters or less from the ground on the pole, the whole body should stand on the foot buckle during the impact. Use the weight of the body to impact on the foot buckle. With fall arrester impacting fall arrester, boarding process. Adjust the size of the buckle according to the diameter of the pole. Should stick to the whole pole. The stride shall not be too wide, no slippage of foot buckles, no bumping, crossing, etc. Use a safety belt throughout, no loss of harness protection. The hand-held safety belt rises with the body. The phenomenon of hanging low and using high must not occur. Use a fall arrester if one is available. At the same time, the ground support personnel, ground wire grounding stake partially driven into the ground, zero point six meter or more, and hand outer side of the grounding ring. That is the position other than the back of the operator on the pole, thus avoiding direct contact between direct contact between the grounding wire and the operator. When arriving at a workstation, you must pay attention to the head. The safety distance from the conductor must be greater than 0.7 meter and up and above. Bundle the backup protection rope on the electric pole, and tighten the adjusting ring so that it is above shoulder level. Then transfer the rope to the pole. Put on insulated gloves and take out the checker. Pull the checker to the longest length. Press the self-test switch again. Listen to the sound and light. When there is sound and light, hold the lower end of the detector below the ring. Apply the metal tube contact part of the detector to the grounding ring or bare wire part. Apply to the grounding ring or Bare wire part. Test the three-phase conductor. When testing the electricity, first test the lower layer. Then test the upper layer. First test the near side. Then test the far side. No sound or light from the tester. It means that the line has no electricity. After the three-phase conductor test contact, should also press the self-test switch of the checker again. To ensure that the checker is normal state, remove the insulated gloves after the test. Put it in the tool kit. Transfer the land yard to the pole. The roll should be on the side of the support leg. Ground support personnel will tie the lower end of the land yard. Tie the lower end of the land yard to the grounding hook with a piggy pack nut. The pole operator pulls the lanyard up. When the grounding rod reaches the working position, place the grounding rod in a suitable position. Wear insulated gloves. Then hang the grounding rods in order from near to far, from the bottom to the top of the order of mounting. After the three-phase installation is completed, 
report to the person in charge of the work. The grounding wire has been installed. Then at this time, we can proceed to other work. After the other work is done, we need to remove the grounding wire. Removal process. The operator is on the pole. Backup protection rope is snapped to the rope. The lifting rope is snapped to the pole and transferred to the side of the support leg. Then remove the grounding wire. The removal sequence is the reverse of the installation sequence. Removal sequence from top to bottom. Do not touch the grounding lead without removing the three-phase grounding hook. Body contact with the grounding lead is not permitted. After re removing the three faces in turn, tie the grounding wire to the ground end of the rope. Lower the rope to the ground at a constant speed. Transfer the lanyard on the pole to the waist. Release the backup protection rope. Do not leave anything on the pole. Lower the personnel on the pole. At the same time, the ground operator can remove the grounding stake part. No loss of safety bolt protection in the process of descending the pole. The foot buckle shall not slip, knocking phenomenon until the ground. Finally, clean up the work site to do the work of material clean site clear.